What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Hannah. In today's video, I will be showing you guys my current foundation routine for every day. So this is something I would wear for work, for going outside, just anything like to the grocery store, whatever. And um, this is how it looks. I am very into dewy skin, very luminous, very glowy. I do have very dry skin, so this is what works out for me. If you guys are interested to see how I accomplish this face look right here, then just keep on watching. Whenever I start my foundation routine every day, I like to go in with a serum, and I've been really obsessed with this Physician's Formula Skin Booster Vitamin Shot in Hydrating. This one's absolutely great, especially if you have dry skin. I just like to drip a few drops on each side I just feel like it really just adds that hydration that I need especially with my dry eyes I do have eczema on my skin which sucks so this really does help balance that out I let this product sink in for about five minutes before I apply anything else just so it really gets that full effect kind of have you guys up nice and personal today and this is just like my routine for everyday wear. This is not like full glam or anything like that. This is just natural, everyday, on the go type of look. And I really like when this serum starts to set in. My, fit, <laughs> my skin starts to feel a little tacky, so that's how I know it's saturated in there. After I apply that serum, I do like to go into my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose Primer Spray. I just love this stuff. It's nice and affordable and I can use it as much as I want without worrying about using too much product because I do like using a lot of setting spray. So let me know if I'm not the only one. I like to get things going. It feels so good on the skin. and It smells like roses which is always a plus. Like I said, I'm on a rose kick so can't go wrong with that. And again, I'm just going to wait for this to settle into my skin. I just love how it feels. It's great for refreshing your makeup, before your makeup, after your makeup. It's just really good for all purposes. Once that setting spray is all settled into my skin, I love dewy primers. Anything dewy I'm all about. Again, I do have dry skin. So I like to go in with this Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer Healthy Glow Pore Minimizing Effect. This smells super good. It feels almost like a moisturizer. It's like a lotion texture. So it looks like this. It's a nice pearlescent color and that's about as much as I use and I just kind of dot this all over my face and it just leaves your face with this amazing glow and it has a nice like pleasant scent to it too. Little does go a long way with this primer but I just absolutely love it. I love drenching my skin. It also leaves my skin feeling very hydrated as well. I also really love that primer because it is super affordable. I think it was like less than $5, which is amazing. You do get 1.01 fluid ounces, so that's a lot of product to go through for that price. And I just love how it makes my skin feel. Sometimes if I'm just like on the go, I'll just go out like this. Um, yeah, it just like makes your skin glow from within, as you can see. And I do have redness as well. so. Um, another quick tip, I don't have too much acne, so my foundations pretty much cover up my whole face. Um, the only problem areas I really have to worry about is like my chin area. I do have a few blemishes, but other than that, everything else looks pretty good. So let's move on to foundation. So when it comes to my everyday makeup routine, I go through these two foundations the most. I'm a BB cream girl when it comes to foundations for everyday wear. I don't look for too much coverage. I like that natural look. Um, so when that does happen, I like to go in with this Joa Truly Yours BB Radiant Beauty Balm in light medium. This stuff is absolutely amazing. I got this a few weeks ago from CVS and I haven't like stopped using it since. This has amazing coverage. It's very lightweight. It evens out your skin tone and it just makes your skin look so natural. I'm like obsessed with this. The only thing is it doesn't come in that many shades. Um, I did have to get light medium so that's the only downer. For today I've been really obsessed with this CoverGirl Outlast Active 24 hour foundation. This one is in the shade Classic Ivory and I picked this up like a week and a half ago and I've just 
haven't stopped using it since I am obsessed you guys are gonna see how it applies on my face so here we go the only thing I don't like about this foundation is it is a little messy it like just oozes out from the top I don't know if there's just too much product in there or if that's just how the packaging is but just as a quick heads up if you do end up picking up this foundation it's gonna splash at you I'm just gonna be going in with my real technique beauty sponge it is a nice liquid consistency that's about as much I'm gonna use again it is super messy but it has amazing coverage which I love and I just like to dot this around my face oh, I just feel super lightweight not cakey at all Then if I want more coverage, I'll just go back in and get some more. But we're going to start off with this. And I just like using a sponge. It just makes everything blend out so much easier for me. I'm not that great when it comes to brushes for foundation. But it just leaves your skin looking just like natural skin from within. Enhances your features. And this is a pretty good shade match for me too, so I was really happy about that as well. So this is what the foundation is looking with that first layer. I think it looks really good. It really was good at kind of covering up my blemishes. It is not full coverage whatsoever, but I would say it's buildable. This foundation claims to be 24 hours and oil free and it's not supposed to clog up your pores. And I feel like it makes my skin look so good, especially in my pore areas. I don't see anything like it's not nothing's there. For everyday wear, I would highly recommend this foundation. They do have many shades to choose from. So good job, CoverGirl. For my concealer for everyday wear, I really love the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This one is in the shade Light, and as you can see, I've pretty much used all of it. I'm just going to use what's left in this container, but I absolutely love this coverage on this concealer. I just like to apply this underneath my eyes. Just to kind of wake me up a little bit. I don't really apply it anywhere else and I'm just gonna go back in with my Real Technique sponge and just blend it out. I really like the coverage on this. And I usually wear glasses majority of the time so it doesn't really bother me what my concealer looks like just because my glasses are covering it. But when I'm wearing contacts like today, this concealer is pretty great. Again, it is also a very affordable and I do have dry patches underneath my this eye right here and it doesn't seem to accentuate it too much which is great I hate when you have like dry skin and it just like over this doesn't look good <laughs> when you have dry skin you always got to prep your skin beforehand moisturizers like there is just so many steps to go through And as you can see, there's my concealer. I do have dryness over here, but it's not too bad. Um, it does crease a little bit on me, but I just feel like everyone creases. I don't know how people get it to not crease. I just have really creasy eyelids, I guess. This is what we have going so far for my everyday. The foundation has set to about like a semi-matte, I would say. It's not fully matte, it looks matte, but I can still see some shine through. I just really like the finish of this foundation. It's just my skin but better so for powders I kind of go through too it just depends on how I'm feeling if I'm feeling more on the matte side I like to use my Rimmel London stay matte powder in the shade Standstorm. if I'm not feeling my matte and I want some radiance I've been using my hourglass radiant um, lighting palette that's what this looks like right here I've honestly just been using this because I've had this for so long and I'm just trying to use it up because this is a very expensive product. I think it was like almost $60 for this. So I'm definitely gonna get my money's worth, but I really like swirling all three colors together and just patting it on my skin. It leaves my skin looking very nice, which is what I'm gonna do today. So we're gonna go in using our Hourglass palette. And for that, I just like to use like an e.l.f. powder brush and I'm just gonna swivel and just pat it through.
Kind of gives some life back into your skin. And as you can see, it did bring some life back and I really just like how it looks. After my base is set down, I am going to be doing my eyebrows. I like to use the LA Girl Brow Pomade, and this one is in the shade Dark Brown. Absolutely awesome product. I think it was only like $6. This is very comparable to the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. So I've, just, I've usually been lately using just pencil eyebrow stuff, you know, but I'm slowly getting back into the pomade. So I'm just going to do my eyebrows really quick. So once that pomade is on, I like to just go in with any kind of brow gel. I'm just trying to get rid of this product. I really don't like it at all. This is the Rimmel Brow This Way Brow Gel. It's just too gunky and just not cool. So that's what the brush looks like. And as you can see, it's just like so clumpy looking. I'm just trying to get rid of it. I like the color and the tint of it. I just don't like how messy it is. So thankfully, I'm like at the last bit of it. So it's not as bad, but... I would not recommend this. It is very affordable, but it's just it's just a hot mess. Just for everyday bronzer, I absolutely love my Physicians Butter Bronzer. This one is in the shade Light, and I know they have new shades out now. I finally hit pan on this, and I have a backup already, so we are good to go. I'm just gonna be going in with my Jaclyn Hill um, bronzer brush that I got from her set. I just like to lightly bronze up my face. Add some life back into my skin. blush I just like to go with any kind of blush but what I've been using a lot lately I'm trying to like go through a lot of my old makeup I'm using this Mac blush in the shade rosy outlook it's just a nice pretty everyday pink and I'm just gonna go in with my Jaclyn Hill blush brush and just apply it to my cheeks This is just a perfect blush for every day. I forgot how much I used to love this blush. This has been in my drawer for years. See, just adds a nice pop of color. Now on to my favorite part, which is highlighter. This can vary for anybody. I personally love blinding highlighters no matter what kind of makeup I'm wearing. And I've been loving this Ofra highlighter in the shade Glazed Donut. This was the collaboration with Nikki Tutorials, who got me inspired to be into highlighter. I'm going to go in with my Morphe M150, and the littlest amount goes the longest way. So I'm literally just going to tap, and it just leaves a beautiful wet-looking highlight. And I love wet-looking highlighters, by the way. just feel like it makes any look pop. We are looking awesome. So I'm gonna go back in with my Wet n Wild Rose Spray just to kind of melt my makeup into my skin. It's just so refreshing to do. So I'm just waiting for this to set, but you can just kind of see how the skin is looking. Very nice and natural, glowy from within, which is my thing, and I just love it. <laughs> So this is what my skin is looking like so far. This is pretty much my everyday foundation routine. This is usually what I do when I'm on my way to work. Super quick, super easy. I'm just gonna do my eye makeup really quick. It's nothing too crazy. It's just gonna be very simple and I'm gonna be right back. All right, you guys, I am back. I just did a quick, simple eye. I just placed one shadow on my lid and a pop of neon eyeliner and mascara. And this is pretty much what I do every day. I've been on a neon kick lately. I've been obsessed with the LA Girl neon shockwave liners if you guys haven't seen that video i will leave it down below for you and this eyeshadow is from the new la girl hot hot heat palette obsessed again if you haven't seen that video i will leave that down below for you as well 
But yeah, this is my everyday foundation routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a comment down below, give this video a like, and subscribe to my channel. I would love to see more of you on here. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.